Hi everyone, uh, especially to uh, Jaidev Solanki, hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right. Um, so Jaidev asked me earlier today, um, he was reviewing the power query cleaning video, and he asked me in the step where we were looking at all negative values, uh, there were potentially some instances where the congestion char charge was null or blank. And I think these were mostly in the early 2017 values where there may not have been a surcharge and how we could amend the calculation to look at that. Um, so I've had a quick look at this and I may have a potential solution. So what I've done is created a uh, data sample so that we can test it. So previously I, I had a sample where I had a couple of line items where we had the fair amount, the extra taxes and surcharges, they were all negative values so that we could test them. Um, so Jaidev has asked about the congestion surcharge. What happens if it's null or blank or zero, etc. So I've, I've put in a couple of samples here. So I've got two nulls, uh, one negative, one that's a zero and one that's a one. So these uh, shouldn't return a negative and one that's a blank. So what we want to try and do is even if we're looking for all negatives, if we have a null value or a blank value, we would also treat those effectively as a negative. Um, so what I've done is bring those into Power BI, into our Power Query. So just these line items replicated here. So if we look at the congestion surcharge, we've got two nulls, a negative, a zero, a positive, and another null, uh, just to see what happens. Um, so previously I had done um, a calculation that was basically an if statement in M code. So if, if the fair amount was less than zero, extra less than zero, et cetera, et cetera, then it returned an all negative. Uh, or if there was a zero or a positive, then it would just return OK or effectively positive. So what we want to try and do is uh, recalculate that. And if we pick up a null, it also returns it as a, um, a negative. Uh, so what I will do is add a column and a custom column. So you want to call this all negative check again. And what you want to do is do another if statement. So if the fair amount is less than sorry, less than zero or fair amount is equal to the null. And what we want to do wrap that in parentheses then we want to do is replicate that for every column we want to look at so and extra is less than zero or extra And we also got MTA tax. It's less than zero or MTA tax. No, this is a little repetitive, but Improvement surcharge is less than zero or improvement surcharge is equal to no close brackets and congestion surcharge. I think this was the one that had the issue. Surcharge is less than zero or congestion. 
access to setting charge equal to null. Close brackets. Then all negative. Else. Okay. So fingers crossed this works. So if we look at the results here, where we have a null value, it treats it as a negative, where we have a negative as well, it treats it as a negative, where it's a zero, so it's not less than zero, and it's not a null, it still treats it as a, almost a positive, so that's okay, so that's a tick, where we have a positive value, it's treated as a positive, so that's okay, and again, where we have this null, it's treated as a null negative. So then you can amend your end code for those two um, conditions, whether it's less than zero or equal to a null. So you basically have to have those inside parentheses within your if statement. So it's like a nested if statement. And you can do that for each column. And then it checks off here. And then if you want to go back and replace your values and make them from a negative value to a positive value. I think in the, the video I had before, there's that replace step that you can use. So hopefully you can go back and look at that again. Um, so hopefully that answers um, your question, uh, which I did. Uh, let me know if it doesn't, and I'll see if I can have another look at it. All right, thank you.